now we have like we move away from that first target audience, the power users, to that second target audience, and pretty much everyone, right? But how do we make that that switch, right? How do we not piss off the power users because their favorite features are missing? And how do we not confuse the newcomers by making Wasabi 2.0 too clunky and too difficult to use it? Yeah, so it's important to highlight is that we're not moving away from our user base. We are we're gain we're trying to open it up to an additional user base. So it's something that we talked about within the team at length and we're really making sure that the existing users will find all the functionality that they have right now. Albeit it may be in a slightly different place or it may be in the, the same place. So I don't believe power users will be disappointed. They might have to uh find where something has moved to, but I think once they get used to it they'll they'll find that everything is, is still there. Um and and we we we've kinda of got concepts of uh, a section of the software and a normal everyday user, one of the new um target users that we're going for will intuitively see what it is. But if you're a power user, you should find some something that you can click on in that part of the UI that find that gives you that feature that you were that you were used to in the past. So I, I hope that um that power users will 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 be will be happy with the way that we've we've managed that. 